and hello everyone welcome back to a new video okay so today I'm going to show you how to transfer files from Linux to Android or from Android to Linux because this is something I have been struggling with for longer than a year now and I finally found a way to do it and now I'm going to upload that way so I will never forget it so first thing you have to do is I'd recommend you go sudo apt get update this is going to be for Debian's so but you can still do this on any other machine I believe so you probably don't have to say update I just wanted to say update just for in case then sudo apt get install and what you want to install is FileZilla this is what you want to install you can click in I already have it installed so I will probably not be able to reinstall it again FileZilla is already at its newest version then after you have installed it you can also install it on Windows I know that uh, you can just go FileZilla or you can go here and say FileZilla it depends on which one you want now you don't need to know the whole thing about FileZilla, what it is, how it works so you just need to know it exists and you can use it so the next thing you want to do is you want to open your phone and let's quickly go through everything you need on your phone now first thing we want to do is we want to open Google Play Store then we want to search for FTP you'll find an app called FTP Server I recommend you download it and after you've downloaded it, open it. Now first thing you want to do is you want to go into settings. Then you want to change your username by removing everything or putting something there for just you. I'm going to put one there. If you remove everything then there's no password needed or anything like that. Then you can choose your own custom folder to where to place everything. I chose my SD card. Then you can also change your password, which would be a pretty good idea if you don't want other people snooping on what you're busy sending to yourself. Now after you have done that, all you have to do is click start and it will start the FTP server. Now all the information you need to know will be displayed on your screen as soon as you start the server. Just take note that your PC and your phone should be on the same network, whether it's Wi-Fi or anything else, if you want this to work correctly. First thing we want to do is we want to enter that server, the host, which will be 192.168.1.174. This might change for you. They said we do not need to do this, we could leave this open, but as I said, we should preferably stay safe and still give it a username and password minus one one I changed it from the default which is Francis and then the port is just 2221 you say quick connect now we are connected here is everything on my phone so first thing I want to do is I want to transfer my 1k special which is about 350 megabytes over to my phone so I'm going to open this folder and I'm going to go back here and I'm just going to drag and drop this drop it right here and it is going to transfer now the transfer speed right here will depend highly on your Wi-Fi speed or your internet connection speed the faster your upload and download speed is the faster this will be or ours max out here at around 2.5 megabytes yours may max out below that so just keep in mind this will change depending on what you've moved over so while we may wait for this to move over to my phone if you want to move something from your phone to your PC all you gotta do is you can change your uh, your current uh, location of where you are I'm going to go right here towards my downloads folder or not my downloads folder my documents folder which would be uh, 
right here here's my documents and then inside documents I'm just gonna drop it there now if we go here to documents as you can see there is nothing here except for two hentai videos and two programming videos and if you want to download something now that you're in your documents you can just find whatever you want to download in this case I want to download some anime and let's say I want to download some Yu-Gi-Oh this is from my own server you may not have anime on yours that depends this is my phone right here this is what is on my phone and I want to download this episode just right click and say download and it will send about two files max I don't think we'll send more than that send and receive so this is sending this is receiving and it is fairly fast so we just gotta wait also something if you want to know if it's sending towards your phone or receiving from your phone you can use this as you can see it is sending towards my phone and this means it's sending towards me since this is me local server this is me and this is my phone also take note if you're sending more than one file this will split in two basically so this one won't be as fast so just keep that in mind you can also change the priority if you want the higher the priority the fast rate will be sent or transferred over to the other side so if I set this to high it will have a higher priority than the one that just finished sending also this is a log you can see what happens here if something fails you will be able to check here pretty nice now one thing you might encounter a few problems when trying to send over or download from your phone is that you might struggle a little to download as you can see here it will say here that it or it will and it will report here that it's trying to send over but it keeps failing and restarting the server don't worry about that this just will take a short while downloading is a little bit harder than sending as you can see it failed to transfer the file but it restarts and it continues to transfer and as you can see it moved up by one percent depending on how many files you are trying to transfer and stuff like that this may vary if you're trying to send a lot of stuff over and back this may take well up to 10 minutes before it finishes depending on the size of the file otherwise if it's just a small file or if you're not sending a lot of things it can easily be less than a minute and it will be over as you can see all files finished transferring and it took one two three four it took four attempts to finish downloading that one so don't worry that is something that does happen now if I try and play it which is right there as you can see in player you give as you can see it does work now let's go back to my phone side now here on my phone side as you will see here as soon as I click that button it will go red and this will stop being connected connection closed by server I just closed that connection and yeah thank you all for watching I hope you all enjoyed seeing this and being able to send over your own files and see you all in the next video